Alright, I'm. Let, 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 uh, okay, say say something real quick. Something real quick. I am as old as I don't know Josie and the Pussycats. The cartoon was when I was born. Huh? How old are you? Twenty-six. Oh, well, I'm older than you are. I think you're you're the oldest out of us. I think. I just turned twenty-seven. Hmm. Lovely. All right, let's go. Question is, are we gonna end up in the hub world, or are we gonna be in like level two again? I think. Oh no! If I remember this kind of thing, it's gonna happen again. <laughs> Oh, cool. Alright. Yeah, yeah, look at Vancouver. that! Do you see? <laughs> yeah, Hunter was there. I, oh, I, oh, I barely. I looked away for half a second and I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I was looking. I wasn't looking, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You, you'll see. I'll, I'll um, do make like a highlight you're, thing for you. Um, you're, showing in the play you're showing in the playback, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alright, so where are we off to today? Well, I think we're going up here now, um, and if I'm remembering correctly, I remember- I remember these, like, right. next few stages being absolute hell, so that's gonna be fun. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, what now? Oh. What now? I love you. That's all I to say. Oh, now you're telling us about the Atlas? Wait! Oh my god. So yeah, this what is a very big area. Yeah. Is that even open? Oh no, that's like 65, I think, to get in there. That's the- Isn't that- it? that's like consi considered the last that's level. That's the last level. Yeah. Hey, it's Fluffy! Fluffy. There's no fluff on that dragonfly. Yeah. Talk to him, what's this book? Because I think it's like the- yeah, let's see what you say. It's a- uh, this is Jurassic Jungle. I was working on a fantastic new experiment. But I suddenly disappeared from my laboratory. If you find some more of these dragonflies, I bet their magic could get this contraption working again. Sounds like Frank Welker. 65, yeah. Frank. Oh, really? You think it's Frank Welker? I'm just saying, he sounds like Frank Welker. I don't, know if he, I don't think he is voiced by him, but. Did well, Frank Welker, that's from. He, he, that's, a, that's Fred for Scooby Doo, right? Yeah. It's Isn't Spyro he like. Yes, he voices. He's been voicing Scooby since, well, twenty years ago. <laughs> uh, uh. I don't understand these hitboxes, dude. Hey, it's NASA. It's not NASA though. Ice challenge. Probably. Hey Sparrow, you found a challenge portal. Oh yeah, you think I'm... Okay. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to like just have Spark start cursing you out when you start skipping over the dialogue. Stop skipping well, my dialogue. Well, heck you now. More or less. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they just this one coming. Okay, I hope there weren't more of these, um, on these platforms. I think I saw one, actually. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, Please. you lost. Oh. It's gonna be close. You're not making it. <laughs> eh. Not even. Damn it. Yeah. Spyro's like run sound effects so loud. Yeah. Before. I, I, I had the call turned down. Let me, let me hear what he turned. Oh, I mean, like, I think that's just the old sound reuse. Yeah. Sounds like it's. Sounds louder. I don't know. Well, it's. The, what's, it's the probably dash. just sound. 
What the dash sound? Yeah. yeah. It does sound a little bit louder. So yeah, get this one on the right. Oh no, but get the one on the left first. Too late. Yeah, I was. No, uh, I was. You, 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 I think this is, this is actually the easiest one. Ouch! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, unless the game's gonna do that. Cool. Cool. That was great. <laughs> hey, it's Howie. It's Howie Mandel. If this game had come out in the 80s, you would have probably been voicing some of these dragonflies. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I will say, yeah, it's... Game, the game itself controls fine enough, but like, it does... It does feel like it's kind of a little bit off compared to the trilogy. I don't well, know... Is it, trying to, is it trying to fight you? It, it just doesn't feel as, uh... Solid, I guess. I don't know what how to like. Um, I I don't know how to like really. Well, it also good camera. Um, <laughs> but oh, hey, there's the feet yeah. then. It just doesn't feel as good to control. It's not like well, I, I wouldn't say it's like as much of a difference as like Rafa Cortex, but it's definitely not one to one. Left, like. There's one more dragonfly, I think, in the overworld, isn't there? Should be. God, I think Thieves' Den is over here, isn't it? No, Thieves' Den was down there. Oh, this is the ice level. This is Monkey Monastery. Okay, I think- I don't remember this level. I think this is the lesser of, of uh, two evils. Or three evils. Three evils. Three evils, yeah. I didn't- Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, um- Oh, there he is, there he is. I remember- the, um, yeah, Thieves' Den frickin' sucks, and I don't remember having a good time with, in the jungle either. Yeah. Bro. Hey, it's Sandra. By the way, we're missing a gem. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think there's a red one that was on the grassy area. Okay. With well, sheep. <laughs> yeah, if you're not careful, Spiral's gonna break a horn. <laughs> the the yell the gets funnier every time I hear it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's just, wait, is it? Oh, wait, okay. There it is. Is that it? Cool. Alright. Look at that gem model, like, when it's doing that. It looks so bad. <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> Man. So we're gonna do Monkey Monastery, Thieves, then, then Jurassic, right? I guess so. Um... I usually or end with... you, Or do you really want to do Thieves' Den last? Well, I usually end on Jurassic. Well, I usually end on Jurassic too because that feels because that one has the highest jet, the highest uh, count. So I get so it's supposed right. to be the final level. I hope thought Agent Nine was somewhere in here when I first played this. Great job, you you think that? That yeah. should be enough to get more balloon working. Hop aboard. Yeah. I mean, I also say this as if I- oh, good. <laughs> I, I also say that in, in uh, um, implying that I play this game often, which I don't. <laughs> yeah. by, sure, the way, I don't. by the way, just a fair warning, I will dip in an hour. Right. Yeah, we were gonna, we're gonna speed run this. Well, I mean, we, these level, we have three levels and they can each take around 20 minutes each. <laughs> oh, we're we not doing every level. <laughs> Like we're just gonna get we're gonna just get as much done as we can. Cause like the the the, the levels in this game go up for like an hour sometimes. Cause like there's just too much. Those the theme here is really good though. Sacred monastery. Hmm. Of course, we practice divine compassion, so we really can't get involved in anything violent. Yeah. Uh, this is. <laughs> I remember, I, remember, I remember this level theme. Yeah, this is, from what I remember, this is basically... Um, what was it? There was like an ice level in Spyro 3. Um, but it's basically that, but not as good. <laughs> I 
Um, do the mammoths qualify as rip talks or are they just mammoths? I think they're just there. Yeah. Hey, it's phony! <laughs> what? It's, what? Is he called phony because he bites you? Oh, right! I, I remember you telling me this- I remember you telling me in the Spyro 3 commentary that you can actually jump on the ice in this- in this game. Yeah, that's one thing I will say that, um, this game does do better, at least, is that you can jump off- uh, jump, uh, when you're on the ice, which would make some parts in to uh, 2 and 3 a lot more easier. Just think they can glide to control yourself a bit more. Yeah. I've noticed the ice physics are a lot more loose as well. Uh, like, it's a bit more controlled in 2 and 3, whereas in this game it's like... Kind of, yeah, you just kind of go gliding all over the place. Oh, yes. Oh, I think he's behind that door, but we're going to have to yeah. come back to it. Oh, look at this. It's actually starting to feel a little bit like the, the Spyro game. You mean the chest being at the start? Well, not even just that, but like, there's act I'm actually jumping around and doing some platforming. <laughs> oh. It's not much, but like... I don't know, like... There's only so can't, much... Can't I can give a credit word to you. Yeah, there's only so much I can say about the level des... Okay. Uh, level design hey. in this game, because... Um, it's basically just been really rudimentary. And not in a good way. Has anyone ever said rudimentary in a good way? I don't. Well, uh, I mean, I mean, I get. I mean, I don't know. I mean rude's in the rude's in the name. <laughs> I mean, sometimes something formulaic can still be fun, uh, but like, yeah, I don't know. Can I? Rudimentary and formulaic mean different things. Well, sure, but you know, yeah, I don't know. I know what I'm saying. And it's the one returning- the other returning character from Year of the Dragon. Spyro! Hey, I know you. you've heard that Yeti are scary monsters, but we are peaceful, which is why we live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox, and they've taken my kind and imprisoned them in the ice. Can you save the five Yeti with your flame breath? I think you've also sure. become lots of exactly a jack jackass. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, that's not exactly what was established in Spyro 3, but sure. Or even Spyro 2 for that matter. Um, not the Yeti? I mean, the Yeti's being peaceful, apparently. I mean, there was one Yeti and the other in Spyro 2, I'm not gonna... Can't hold the whole species against- can't hold that against the whole species. Well, I mean, well, I mean, there's- th those I mean, the, the general mobility that Spyro is running into, or don't seem to exactly be kind. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the- the, the one in Spyro 2, but also, like, um, uh, Bentley beats people up with a, with a massive club, and then there's the whole boxing thing, so I don't- I don't think that really qualifies as being, like, peaceful creatures. Boxing is just a sport, and well, yeah, the only person like... badly attacked were sorceresses, minions, well... and money, and money bags. So screw them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess. But like it's, I don't know. It's just one of those things where like they haven't, they've never really been established as being peaceful. I mean, you can just like kind of peace them. and not. I mean, you can occasionally do violence and still be a peaceful race. Like, mm. what do you got to say, my friend? Greetings, young dragon. I believe the turret behind you could be a very useful weapon for you to use on your quest. We use it for our annual snowball war. Oh, it's quite an event. Although we are a non-violent people, we do have our vices. Perhaps you might want to glide over there and try it out. Justification! Justification! <laughs> yeah. We are peaceful, that's why we have cannons. <laughs> Yeah. Snowball cannons, I mean. Yeah, you'd you'd think you'd think they had you'd they'd have like Agent 9 cameo in this. But they Maybe it was meant to. Probably. 
So and I don't think he'd fit in here because he is definitely not peaceful. No, but just kind of think monkeys, but... Oh, because they're monkeys. He, he's a monkey. He has to be with the other monkeys. All right, I see how it is. <laughs> Bark. Is there anything else I need to shoot? Yes. Yeah, this is also something similar similar to the Ice Love Wind Spyro Throw. I do remember getting lost a bit in this level. Probably doesn't help that a lot of it's just blue. Yeah. Oh, I remember this level oh, me that. I like the cold, but I don't like it that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That just sounds so off. Like he just has that voice just suddenly growling. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so off putting, it's hilarious. They look more like the Yeti from Spyro 2 than Bentley. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. think any of these are supposed to be Bentley. Yeah, none of these I are. I know they're yeah. not meant to be Bentley, but I mean, like, they look closer. That one at least looks closer to the one from more... Spyro 2. Yeah. I mean, they look more like the enemy Yeti, like the one that Bentley was fighting. <laughs> right. Yeah, because, like, Bentley is a lot, like, he's a lot shorter compared to the other uh, Yetis. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I I appreciate the fact that I can jump on the ice, but these physics are not it, my friend. You just zoom. Yeah. You're like, woo! <laughs> no, I, I, it makes me wish I had, like, the slide or something from Crash, where, like, I would, like, I would at least be able to, like, um, move my momentum around. That reminds me, actually. When I was playing, um, It's About Time, when I'm with the ice, the ice physics are kind of bulky at points. I don't remember the how those are in that game. Well, it's like I, it's like it's like it's like you you it's like say you have momentum and you jump off the ice. It, it, like you have that sort of because like some, if you like mess with it, it sometimes you just kind of stop in midair. Hmm. That totally didn't make the totally didn't make like the space levels or like the the extra planet the ever planet level like annoying at all. Hmm. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Crash 4, so I don't remember. Oh. Um, I don't know. Can't wait to see what your eventual Let's Play is gonna be. Oh, gosh. Mm. You know where you're gonna 100% and 6% again, right? He already <laughs> did it on stream, he doesn't have to prove anything. I'm. Yeah. I don't. I. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, for an L, yeah, for an LP, I'll, I'll probably just do a normal. I'll just do a straight level run, because um, otherwise we'll just be we'll, we'll just be there forever. I might get all the gems in the seas run, but I don't know. And that, not counting the inverted stages. <laughs> Yeah. I think he missed a gem. Did I? Okay then, I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know, like, when this- when this game is- again, when this game isn't broken, it's just kind of a thing. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say about this. Like even like the even the early levels in the trilogy were like more interestingly designed. Like I, I've I've made it no secret that I have issues with Spyro 2, but like the levels in that game, even in like the beginning, are eons better than this. Help, Spyro! These flying riptops are a menace. Oh, I think they are guarding the yetis trapped within the ice here. Oh, so I'm getting <laughs> pummeled by snowballs over here. Uh -huh. Now that's a that's a question though. Um, and I I feel like I'm probably gonna I feel like I already know the answer to this, but 
Um, would you guys? Yes, I will marry you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, <laughs> would you? Do you guys prefer a game that's boring, um, but or a game that's uh, that's bad but funny? I guess I don't know. I don't play games, Harry. What are you talking about? Also, Sparks, eat the butterfly, please. What are you doing? I think Spot. What? Maybe. Maybe the game doesn't reckon. I don't know. What is going on? Man, you should be beat this level before it glitches out completely. I'll try. Like, he's not picking up anything anymore. He's just kind of. He's just kind of stopped existing. Sparks is done. He's just done. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, why is the butterfly still following you? Yeah, this is completely bugged. <laughs> what is going on? We got a we got another friend just chilling with us. Okay. I feel like I'm probably gonna die if I get hit now. And I'm sure that won't have any negative ramifications whatsoever. And wow, I can already feel my stomach churning just looking at this footage. Nice. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I am not long for this Let's Play. Ah! Uh, whenever I play a game is... Whenever I play a game is, like, functional but boring, or one that's, like, busted but funny, uh... Thank you, Zoe. Uh, depends on the length of the game, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's also a factor. Like, I, I, I would never 100% this game. Probably just wouldn't play because it's you know motion sickness. But like at least, like at least this game is short. Like, that's yeah. that's that's what I can say compared to like Sonic 06. It's short. Right. Okay, that Sonic 06 isn't bad enough. Sometimes it's just. It's not glitching out, it's just kind of dry. Yeah, um... Oh, God, this can be fun. Um... Yeah, 06 just kind of goes on forever. Um... Oh. Do I need to... Okay. I'll never forget Johnny from SGB playing. The one level was silver and trying to glitch out, glitch out the way to get to the exit for 20 minutes because he just hated going through the level. <laughs> How am I supposed like, to hit these guys? You can oh! tell Johnny with. I didn't want to do that. Even the butterfly followed you. <laughs> okay. Alright, cool. Huh. Do I need to go back down? Oh, right, there's oh, a cannon there. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, oh, yeah, right, there's, that's, yeah. there's a platforming, Harry. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, sounds as well. This, yeah, this game has atmosphere, if nothing else. Yeah. They tried, um... Um, it, it's like, I, 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 I can't fault the developers, it's not their fault. Okay. Hey, yeah, like, talk, talking about, uh, like, the development for this game, like, uh, you see, you've seen the the things, right, um, Jason? The videos. Oh, huh? huh? sorry, I got distracted by something. Yeah, um, the uh, development for Enter the Dragonfly and like the Did You Know stuff. Um, I assume you do you know that remember that stuff fairly well, or? It's a good thing you came along when you did, Dragon. Because mm. like the. I, 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 what is it? Didn't they, like, have no idea what they were doing until, like, the last 
few months of development or something. I try to remember exactly. Because, like, Universal were, like, trying, basically just trying to change the direction of the game constantly, and no one had any idea what they were doing. So, I think it, it basically became a point by, like, the end of the game where it cut. It's basically just a mishmash of a bunch of different ideas strung together to kind of make a video game. And, uh, yeah, I can kind of, that kind of, I can kind of feel that. Wrath of Cortex should have been a canary in the coal mine. Yeah. Again, you mentioned, like, they didn't need to have this game Hello, out Spyro. when they did, because they already had, for a firework um, was display, it, but the I GBA stuff. Delighted. Please tell me, Season of Flame. Flame yeah. to light the fuse? Which also had Ripto as the main villain. Yeah, so like they could have held off on this game for like a, a year or something at least. I'm not sure if a year would have saved it, but it would have been, you know, functional. I yeah, I, I think it def definitely needed to like probably like two years minimum, <laughs> if that. Like. And when you get in hindsight, there was not even if you like just to. Even if you deleted this game from existence, that would only be four years between Year of the Dragon and like My Hero's Tale, so mm. that would that would be actually just standard game development cycle in these days. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When did Hero's Tale come out? Two thousand four. Mm. Those tricky riptops. Yeah, I know like nothing about that game. Is it the same? No, it's not the same developer. Who made Who made that game? <laughs> Eurocom. Eurocom, okay. Oh, the Crash Bash guys. Um, yeah, that's going to be interesting because um, outside, yeah, outside of the uh, Reignited trilogy, I haven't actually, I haven't actually, I haven't actually played I haven't any actually. any Spyro games past uh, this one, so I'd be going into completely diff um, unfamiliar territory. I never played Hero's Tale, but I've seen footage. It's probably closer to Year of the Dragon in the way that this game's kind of closer to Ripto's Rage. Oh, excuse me, Gateway to Glimmer. <laughs> That's a good um, dragon. I guess so. It's I have seen. I did watch all the cutscenes um, a long time ago, and okay, this door's just kind of open now. I guess. Yeah. Hey, it's Danzel. They need a Dragonfall, not Dragonfall, Dragonfly Lady, basically. Mm. Yeah, I... You know, we'll definitely play Hero's Tale at some point, just because I'm... Just because I've never played it and I'm curious. I don't, this is Wii stuff. <laughs> well, I mean... We'll see what happens, but... Uh, I don't... I don't. Oh no, this is my last Spyro game. I am not dealing with that camera again. <laughs> Is the is Hero's Tales camera like the same? I imagine so. It plays like the other Spyro games. Mm. Well, I know like the like, gems are like a currency. There's not like a finite amount. Like there's some definitely some differences, but it's still classic Spyro. Of uh, mm. it's undoubtedly the better game of, between this and Enter the Dragonfly. Though I'd say Enter the Dragonfly feels more aesthetically in line with the PS1 games. Mm. Like, similar color palette, you know, Stuart Copeland as a composer, generally closer gameplay loop, yeah. close to the old yeah. voice cast. Although I do like Heroes Tell for um, being a step in a new direction, at least. Welcome to our ancient slide, Spyro. Get to the bottom before Whether it does it, does it well or not is uh, something that I'll have to time. see for myself. If you can make it to the bottom in time, I'll have a special prize for you. Right. Okay. The, I've been down on like ninety percent of these mini games, but the the um, the slides are ones that I do actually like legitimately enjoy. They, they just like <laughs> there are some parts of this game that I do like, but like those things I can kind of just count on one hand. <laughs> but you know, it, it's something. 
a lot. This is a really big, big, expansive. This is quite stiff. Pardon me. Big, expansive set piece for a mini game. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Speed. Oh. The peaceful slide, they say. Every <laughs> time the enemy, he's like, I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> These ice blocks made me think of those, like the penguins in like Sherbet Lad and Mario Kart 64. <laughs> I do remember this actually being a kind of tight, if I'm not mistaken. Especially if you missed flag, like the... What was it? What are these called? Like, slaloms or something? Slalom? Yeah. Slalom. Slalom. I don't know. Okay, it doesn't help that it doesn't let me move to the side very well. At least the hitboxes for these slaloms are better than like the crates in that one Crash 4 level before they patch it. Well, oh, the polar level, yeah. Good grief. Yeah, no, I, I have PTSD from that. Okay, that wasn't so bad. <gasps> Very impressive slide work. Here, I found this dragonfly wandering around down here. Hey, it's cute. It's what? That's that's not the full name. Oh. Okay. So there is a harder version like of this. The great prize, the coupon. <laughs> you imagine. Nah. So I assume this is just the same, but just less time. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh. This... Yeah, this controls... This kind of controls like garbage, I'll be honest. I also want to say something nice about this game. Yeah, I was gonna say, like... Even when I want to be nice, the game just doesn't want me to be. That knockback, good grief. Oh man. I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying to find nice things to say. <laughs> like, it's hard. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm trying so hard to, like, move right. It's not that, though. Ah! What? What the fudge? Uh, oh. I see. The heck? Gosh, imagine you kept on falling, but the clock wouldn't actually run out. Yeah. Remember, we're playing the good version of Enter the Dragonfly. <laughs> well, good, good in the sense that, like, it's less broken. I mean, in some ways, I I guess you could argue like that could be worse because it's less funny. <laughs> but, I mean, this is also just easier to easier to record because um, I, w if I had to get the PS2 set up, I had to do all the I had to like change my setup completely. And I don't know why, but like whenever I do stuff with the PS2, it tends it tends to go out like the audio tends to, uh, tends to go off sync after like an hour. I don't know why. PS2 feels like uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't know. PS2 is a very peculiar machine. Mm. Uh. Okay. <gasps> very impressive slide work. Here, I found this dragonfly wandering around down here. Well, that was a thing. So, if we hadn't done the second slide, you would have just held Dancer hostage. Yep. You can always come Correct. back. Correct. Would you like to try our peaceful Screw you, Doug. Doug. Okay, come back anytime. Huh. Yeah. I 
I don't, I will say this right now. I I don't know if we'll if I'll play like the Legend series. I I've uh, like thought about doing that on stream at some point maybe, but I I don't know if that'll be an LP. I I don't even know if I'll even like those games to begin with. But I mean, I don't I don't, I don't think mm. game quality means much at this point right now. No, but I I don't know I. I, I don't know if that will really make for uh, interesting playthroughs. I don't know if I'd really have much to say about those games, but... I mean, they're more story heavy, so you might have something to say about that. I did, uh... This, this, from what I've seen of the story, it did seem interesting, I will say that much. And I do have, um... I haven't, I at least have a fascination with the third game, because of, um, like, the more open setting and the co-op stuff going on. But, um, yeah. Okay. What am I missing? Oh gosh, the Atlas. Uh, I'm missing three dragonflies? And 40 gems. Oh my god. So I, well, I know one of them is the Yeti. Yeah, I don't know what I'm missing. Besides that, the one, yeah. also I see, the <laughs> I saw that number jumping around from the gem. Did think... we get the like, we got the key right? Oh, did we? Wow. Now that was more. Do we? Do we have the key? How do I? No, I think it would be in that thing. Where is? Oh. Oh yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Something about the depth perception of the, how shall we call them, ledges, kind of threw me off. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, there's this lovely little fella. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Also, why? It, like, really doesn't like me changing the camera. Oh, God knows. I don't know where anything is in this. I'm just going to be wandering around until I find something at this point. Hmm. I think we're all- I think we all wander around in life. Mm. Yeah, I, I am, I yeah, I have no plans to play this game over again. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Like at least, at least, uh, Sonic 06 has like a, a better version that you can play. Um. <laughs> if you want a better better version of this game, you, you're just gonna have to make your <laughs> just make the whole game from scratch. What exactly is the better version of Sonic 06? <laughs> uh, Project 06. Project 06. Yeah, Project well, 06. Someone, yeah. Someone's got a some hero needs to do that for Enter, Enter the Dragonfly. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot more work though because um, uh, you'd have to make the level design better. You'd have to add like. 18 something levels or something, um, and all this other stuff. Um, yeah, you'll need to add new levels and or drag by just fix the ones that are here. Uh, yeah, well, that would be one thing, but uh, it, even then, like, it would still just be a mediocre Spyro game. Um, I said fix the levels that are here, not, not recreate them. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what did he say? Talking about the Yeti again. Spyro, I know you've heard that Yeti are scary monsters, but we are it's the exact same stuff. Oh, okay. Ouch. Um, yeah, what the heck am I doing? I'm so lost. Can someone look, look something up? I don't know what I'm doing. 
Or we're playing a Spyro game. I'm okay. I'm trying to okay. find like a spe like a secret like alcove or something. Anything. Wait, what the heck? You're following the level normally for now. Well, I mean, I'm going backwards. Well, just keep it on. Oh, hmm. Like, I, if I go. No, I'm actually paying attention. <laughs> huh? No, I'm actually paying attention. Maybe I can help. <laughs> like, these don't do anything. That's just decoration, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I've been. Nothing there. Oh my god, dude. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. Well, that's the way we just came from. I'm is... at first level. I wanna... Now I'm actually paying attention. I want to see if I can Let's actually see. help. I mean, the fact that like, the game bugged out really badly earlier doesn't leave me with a lot of hope. Um, like, it feels like something just went completely wrong here and also just seeing trying to see if there's any like any parts of the ice I can break no there's a thing over there Ugh. I'm watching the backgrounds carefully. It's like, yeah, I... And we usually could, we could just be doing a bad draw distance as far as we know. That's also a thing. Uh, oh, I, I see. There, there. Okay, there. I see. okay, um... To the right? How do I... Oh, do I... Camera. Okay. What is it? Squad around there, maybe? Okay. Okay, cool. And there's the key. Oh, there's the key. Alright. That was a lot simpler than we, than we thought. Yeah, well, I saw these platforms earlier, but I thought uh, they would be, like, part of a different section. I do like how the stage looks. Hey, and there's, there's, nice. there's a bonus area. Um, uh, up there. Yeah. So remember there's a Yeti down there, we're gonna have to save after this. Yeah. Wait, um, what is this? I don't know. Speedway? <laughs> well, we're about to find out, I guess. It's a trolley guy coming back for revenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you missed me, Spyro! <laughs> Trouble with the trolley, eh? The heck is oh, this? Spyro, the Riptox have invaded our land and are constructing turret factories to destroy the monastery. Do you think you can destroy You're too young to know what a turret is. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just... Oh, is that one of the. Okay. She... Was that a question or a command? Is it? Okay, just. This is a thing. <laughs> I don't remember this being much, much of interest. I, I, I at least it, it, this one's quicker from what I remember, at least. Well, I mean, they go down. Hey, these factories go down one nipple. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the thing in what was it that thing in the 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 boats in Rafa Cortex or whatever. It took like four um, shots or whatever, and it takes <laughs> they would like take a million years to charge up. I'm feeling weirdly nostalgic for that Wrath of Cortex playthrough. It was a lot better than, better than this, I can tell you that much. So at least we had things to talk about. We talked about Mortal Kombat character design. Yeah, that was funny. Dragonfly in one of the factories. Why don't you take it? 
You're lucky you're cute, Mandy. <laughs> hey, it's John. <laughs> the Rip Tucks just keep rebuilding their factories. Of course, it's the second just... version of this. Wait, wait, no, I think he just said. I don't think it actually implied there was a second. Well, you, you no, you, usually, usually they they say that when it's like a sec, there's a second version. Um, it, it, if um if they if they just say, oh, do you want to try again? That's usually that usually means like that's nothing else. Maybe there's more turrets. Uh, doesn't feel like it doesn't feel any different. Not really. I mean, I'm not complaining. I just want to get it over with. Again, we yeah, could so be wrong. Relative to the other mini games, this one's pretty, pretty easy going. Yeah. Well, I'm okay well, with that. There. Yeah. The rip tucks just keep. Oh, they just. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Well, I had to be sure. Who left you in charge of this, Mandy? Yeah, the thing with the with the challenges in this game are like, they're either like just piss easy, um, they're just <laughs> they just they control like garbage, or they or they um piss me off. Or yeah. Or, so, uh, so or, this, or like this game was just rushed. Or or a mixture of all three, like. The, there are like there are like annoying ones in two and three, obviously. Um, but m most of the ones in those games were like constantly designed. But with this game, uh, it's, hug right. it's like good Why luck trying. Right? Yeah, no, I, I know, I know. Um, it, like with this game, it's like good luck trying to find a a good mini game. It's like good lord. Now imagine if they had tried to integrate like the extra playable characters. Whoa, what happened? I feel like an ice lolly. Did those rip talks put me on ice? <laughs> he gets. Thank you, Spyro. Wrong line, but sure. <laughs> wait, did now you? what? what happens? No, wait, my follow me has it. Right. That's uh fine, I guess. I don't know why they wouldn't just give you it. Well, Bartholomew is the one who gave you the request, I guess. Well, no, I, I, well, yeah, I get, I get, I get why, it's just like... Ugh. Did he say ice to lolly? Like, is that what, is that what English people call popsicles? Wait a minute, is he, wait, is it in here? Yeah, yeah, because we already have all the gems. Um, oh yeah, you, you guys don't call them ice lollies, do you? No. Yeah, you, no. Yeah, they. That's, that's funny. Yeah, we. Yeah, we didn't call them popsicles. It's we called ice, pop. <laughs> ice pops. Yeah, we we call them yeah. ice lollies. We don't call them like pop whatever the thing she said. Popsicle. Well, at popsicles. least they're accurate. Thank you, Spyro. The Yeti will always welcome you with open arms. And then we go, and, unless one of them sends me into a, a boxing match that doesn't work and we like fail it for like an hour. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, at least Spyro didn't have to do the boxing. Mm. I will say this, uh, at, at least, um, at least they made it like a lot easier in the remake. Um, you mean by the fact that they had the adaptive difficulty? Not even, not even just that, but um, they just, I don't know what they did, but they just made Bentley boxing like really, like, I don't know if I'd say really easy, but like compared to the original, it's like a lot easier. Is that that? I've been playing on like the proper PS1 version of Year of the Dragon, we could've just done a, done a player two trick. I think, I think I did try that, but I couldn't get it to work. Actually, were you using a PS1 version? Like a native PS1 version of Year of the Dragon? It was, um, it was a PS1 copy, but I was, I was, uh, it was on the PS3, so... But you had the, you had the proper, you had, like, the proper final boss music. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, it's the disc copy, yeah. Wow! You even shift than me! How 
that's enough magic to make this carpet fly up and away. Hop aboard. Okay. Hello, um, Bradley Baker. Okay, we'll do a <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a little bit of this level, but we're not finishing it. Nope. Uh, and Spyro clipped through the carpet. 